Hey everybody, this is Death Free Cars, uh, working on the 2006 Toyota Hi Highlander Hybrid. Uh, just a couple items I wanted to show you guys. One is the AC connector uh, to the inverter, how to disconnect that, and then the inverter cables in the back of the car, or in the back of the inverter. So I'll go ahead and show you, I pulled out the inverter here, and one of the items that I really had a hard time dealing with was this connector to the AC compressor. So this actually goes into the AC compressor like this. And then in order to remove this plug, this green, this green tab, you have to lift it this way before this orange tab, before you're able to push down on this orange tab. So lift the green tab, stick like a, a flathead screwdriver or a pick in there, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up this way and then you'll be able to access the orange tab, push on the orange tab and pull up on the harness. Okay, so then the next thing is, um, and this is very similar to other Priuses, is that, um, is that uh, in order to remove the inverter and the cabling that goes with it, um, first of all, there's actually only about two or three bolts and nuts that go around this um, inverter, one here, one there, um, but the last one is actually in the back here. This is actually the one that's a little harder to get to because you actually have to pull off the main, the main connector to the uh, battery. So the first thing to do is actually to remove the cover and then you'll see a uh, motherboard and some control it, uh, items, inverter. Um, in order to remove the motor, uh, uh, the motor connection to the transmission, there's two large cables on this side that plug in through there. So you remove the three bolts that connect to the contacts and then two bolts to the uh, connector itself. Same thing with the, the one further inside. This is, this is the, uh, the other connector to the transmission. So three contacts and then two uh, bolts to remove the, the other one is actually back there um, to remove the, uh, the connector. Now with the last connector, which is the one going to one going to the the battery, this one there's actually a nut or a, a bolt here that has to be removed first. Also the ground cable here, you have to remove that. So remove this bolt. So the connector is in here. This bolt goes over and secures the connector with this uh, with this other part, um, and then it screws in together. So you have to remove the bolt first. And then I'll show you the connector. The connector is a little tricky here. Okay. So here's the connector. This is where that bolt goes in. Now this handle, when you remove it, you lift up on this and then you push it backwards. And then what you have to do is, you know, obviously you kind of wiggle this a little bit because it does get you know, a little stuck after it's been connected for quite a while. Um, but then once you open this up and then this, the connector seems to slide off and want to come off, but then it gets, somehow it gets stuck. For some reason, the Toyota wants you to, once you pull it off, they want you to close this back up again. And then you see that notch that opens up right there? The notch that opens up right there? That, once you get that notch aligned to the pin again, then the rest of the connector comes off. And then you can remove the connector from the inverter. So here's the two um, connectors to the uh, transmission and uh, power split device. So three contacts, three contacts, and then the two harnesses in the back. So that's it. That's the summary of how to remove the inverter. I will show you more as I pull this engine out.